Well, it seems that there are more changes being observed in the cosmos. And this article was published on the 19th of February 2013 on the Universe Today website, which is, by the way, directly connected to NASA. So the article states, bright new supernova shines in southern skies. And basically what has happened is that this guy here, Stu Parker, has discovered a supernova called SN213AA, which he says popped off uh, in the Bard Spiral Galaxy NGC 5643 in the constellation Lupus the Wolf 34 million years ago, but no one knew its light was wiggling its way across the cosmos to Earth until New Zealand amateur astronomer Stu Parker nailed it during one of his regular supernova hunts. Now, firstly, Bob King, you cannot write an article to save your life, mate. You really need to uh, brush up on your journalistic skills because this is one of the worst written articles I've had the misfortune of reading for a very long time. And so basically what the article is stating is that the only reason that Stu Parker, this dude here, found this supernova is because we suddenly see the light because it's taken so long to travel across the galaxy that we're only now seeing the light reach us because, you know, light travels, which it doesn't. And I'm not going to go into that debate now, but anybody that wants to know the truth about light really needs to look into the research of Walter Russell. But as I said, I'm not going to actually go down that path with this video. I just wanted to show you that we are now seeing supernova brightening in our cosmos. It's got nothing to do with the light only just reaching us, and this is the reason that we're seeing it. It's because our entire galaxy, our entire system is going through huge changes. And this is even now being seen in other galaxies. It's like everything is brightening. Something is causing all of these galaxies and these supernova to change and to almost seem to illuminate. It's really what is happening across our whole solar system. In fact, our whole galaxy, and by the looks of it now, other galaxies are also experiencing this. So I'll post the article underneath, and you can have a look at that, guys. But, yeah, we're definitely seeing changes happening. Uh, you know, and, of course, they're going to try and explain them away with their lamestream flat earth science. And, you know, they're never going to relay the truth to us because they cannot have their life work threatened. I mean, most of these very prestigious astrophysicists and astronomers and scientists, you know, have basically hedged their entire careers upon this flawed model. So there is no way that they will allow anyone to threaten their work and threaten their livelihoods. You know, there's also a hell of a lot of arrogance that goes with these scientists in these very high positions. So just understand, we either work this stuff out ourselves or we just, you know, continue to be treated like idiots and given this complete rubbish that we're supposed to accept as, you know, truth. So anyway, uh, I will post the article underneath. As I said, I would definitely recommend looking into the research of Walter Russell and the truth about light and how light is actually static. It does not move. It's the waves that allow us to think that light is moving. So, interesting. More change has been seen, guys. I will link the article, as I said, and as always, peace out.